I'm Sally Cole with Story Hour Academy, and this is our lesson about the multi-letter phonogram EI. The EI phonogram makes three long vowel sounds. It makes the long A sound, A, as in veil, the long E sound, E, as in seas, and the long I sound, I, as in feisty. So it can say A, E, or I. The EI phonogram may not be used at the end of English words. Why is that? Because English words don't end in I. Where there is a syllable break between E and I, such as in the word being, there is no EI phonogram. Because you'd pronounce the E in B, the first syllable of the word, and you'd pronounce the vowel sound for the I and ing separately. Get out a paper and pencil. Let's write the EI phonogram three times while saying the sounds that it makes. First write EI says A and E and I. EI says A, E, and I. One more time. EI says A, E, and I. Now let's write five words where EI says the long A sound, A, as in veil. First word is there. There is spelled with a TH, making its voice sound Th. Then EI, making a long A sound, A, and R that says ER. Th, A, ER. There means belonging to, as in it was their food. Next word, reindeer. Reindeer, spelled with an R that says er. The EI phonogram that says A, the N that says N, a D that says D, a double E phonogram that says E, and an R that says er. Er, A, N, D, E, er, reindeer. A reindeer is a large deer from the Arctic tundra. Our next word is rain, as in a period of rule, dominance, or widespread influence. Rain is spelled with the R that says er, then our EI phonogram that says A, and our GN phonogram that says N, er, A, N, say it fast, rain. Next word is beige, as in an off-white color, beige. Beige is spelled with a B that says B, then an EI phonogram that says A, then a G that says J, that's the second sound of G, which is softened by a silent final E. That's telling us that the G says J, B, A, J, beige. Next word, surveil. To surveil is to keep under close watch. Surveil is spelled with an S that says S, a U-R that says R, a V that says V, an E-I that says A, and an L that says O. S, R, V, A, O, say it fast, surveil. Now let's write five words where EI says the long E sound E, as in C's. First word, protein. Protein is spelled with a P that says P, an R that says R, 
an O that makes a long O sound O because it's in an open syllable. Then a T that says T, an EI phonogram that says E, and an N that says N. P er O T E N. Say it fast. Protein. Protein is an organic compound that's essential to life. Next word is receive. Receive is spelled with an R that says er, an E that makes a long E sound, E, a C that says s, because it's followed by an E, which is in the EI phonogram, it's making a long E sound, then a V that says v, and English words don't end in V, so we need a silent final E. Er, E, S, E, V. Say it fast. Receive. Receive means to be the person who gets. Next word is weird. Weird means strikingly odd or unusual. Weird begins with a W that says W, then the E, I phonogram that says E, an R that says Er. And a D that says D, W, E, R, D, say it fast, weird. Next word is either. Either is spelled with an E, I phonogram that says E, a T, H that says uh, and an E, R that says R, E, V, R, say it fast, either. Either means the one or the other. Next word is seize. To seize something is to take hold of suddenly and forcibly. Seize begins with an S that says S, then an E I phonogram that says E, a Z that says Z, and a silent final E. S E Z. Say it together fast. Seize. Now let's write five words where E-I says the long I sound, I, as in feisty. And that's our first word, feisty. Feisty is to be full of spirit. It is spelled with an F that says F, then an E-I phonogram that says I, an S that says S, a T that says T, and a Y that says E, F, I, S. E, say it fast. Feisty. Next word is stein. A stein is a decorated beer mug. Stein is spelled with an S that says T that says T. An e I phonogram that says I and an N that says N. S T I N. Say it fast. Stein. Next word seismograph. Seismograph is an instrument for measuring earthquakes. This word is spelled with an S that says S, then an EI phonogram that says I, an S that makes the second sound of S, Z, an M that says M, an O that says O, a G that says G, an R that says R, an A that says A. And our PH phonogram that says f, s, i, z, m, o, g, r, a, f. Say it fast. Seismograph. Next word, zeitgeist. This word means the general outlook of a specific time. Zeitgeist has the EI phonogram in it twice. Here we have Z that says Z, our first EI phonogram, making a long I sound, I, a T that says T, then a G that says G, followed by the EI phonogram saying I again, an S that says S, and a T that says I t g i s t. Say it fast. Zeitgeist.
Next word, kaleidoscope. A kaleidoscope is a tube-shaped instrument that produces symmetrical designs. Kaleidoscope is spelled with a K that says K. An A that's making a schwa vowel sound, a. Uh. An L that says O. The EI phonogram that's making a long I sound, I. A D that says D. An O that's making another schwa sound, a. Uh. An S that says S. A C that says K. An O that says O. A P that says P. And a silent final E that's telling us that this O says a long O sound. And we have K, A, O, I, D, A, S, K, O, P. Say it fast. Kaleidoscope. Now there are a couple exceptions to go over where the EI phonogram doesn't make an A sound, E sound, or I sound. And here they are. The EI phonogram makes a short E sound, E, eh, in heifer. The word heifer means a young cow. So here we have H that says H, EI that says E, eh, F that says F, and ER that says ER. H, E, F, ER, say it fast, heifer. Here's another exception. The EI phonogram can make a schwa sound in unstressed syllables. For example, in the word foreign, you'll hear the EI making a short I sound I because that's one of the sounds of an unstressed vowel. Sometimes it sounds like a, uh, sometimes it sounds like I, and foreign it sounds kind of like I, but it's unstressed. Here in forfeit, you hear that I again, that's an unstressed sound. And in sovereign, you hear that I sound here from EI because it's unstressed there as well. So foreign means coming from another country, forfeit means to give up, and sovereign means self-governing. So when you master the EI phonogram, you also master a lot of very interesting vocabulary. So now let's look for the EI phonogram in a poem. As I read this poem to you, I want you to look for words with the EI phonogram. The Unseen Wind by Christina Rossetti. Who has seen the wind? Neither you nor I. But when the trees bow down their heads, the wind is passing by. Did you see the words with the EI phonogram? There was neither right here, where EI makes a long E sound. And the phonogram also showed up in there, right here, where EI makes a long A sound. Great job learning about the EI phonogram today. Your assignment is to read as many poems as you can from Poems My Children Love Best of All. Take it slow and sound out all the words. The more you practice reading, the better you'll get at it. You can find a link to Poems My Children Love Best of All in the description of this video. See you again here soon at Story Hour Academy.